those tough the Big Ten refs here that look a lot like a Big Ten game. Really physical. Mike did a fantastic job. Helped the league multiple times. This is a back and forth game. And Barrel Stars, Fats Russ, Guy Allen, both with 22. Julian Reese gets some serious crunch time. He had a plus minus of 15 plus. And 18 minutes of black after this word from the Big Dog on the Big Dog Post Game Show, live in College Park. We love our clients, and you'll see that if you trust us at the Jacklin Small Group, the Big Dogs from the Small Firm. Find us online at BigDogSmallFirm.com. Network solutions, managed IT, and technical support. Viner Forgates makes your company work. Solutions to protect your business from WatchGuard, including firewalls and endpoint protection. Protect your company and make your company work with solutions from Viner Forgates. So 3-0 and early in the season doesn't get you very far, but this really was a quality opponent. Shungu, the guard forward from Vermont, the Catamounts, he gets 27. In years gone by, Daryl Morcell would have gotten the assignment to shut him down, but Daryl is uh, Marquette now. So Maryland rotates players. It was a lot of Dante Scott. Uh, but look, Shangu almost had enough to upset Maryland. Maryland comes as a 10-point favorite, and they win by 11. So I guess Vegas had this right. It was interesting uh, more so because Duncan, was 55 from Vermont, and Ayala almost got into a fight at the other end of the court on a loose ball near in front of the Vermont bench that led to everybody running over uh, like it was about to break out into a baseball uh, brawl, which didn't happen. Tampers were cool. And then right here behind me, they get into it again in the second half. Technical fouls are called, but nothing much came of it. But that shows you the intensity of the game. These guys were going at it for real. Maryland has to do better on the three-point shoot. There, there's, I've been to practice. These guys can shoot the ball. Once the game starts, it doesn't go as well. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, in other notes, James Graham still away from the team. Not sure what he did, but he's not been on the bench. It's two games in a row. And here comes Jimmy Patsos. Do you have a second? And we're going to bring in Jimmy Patsos on the Turp Talk postgame show. Uh, what did you see out there? Second half, defensively adjustments. Coach Turgeon deserves a ton of credit because Fats and Ayala were great offensively, but they were digging in defensively. Shungu's good, number 24 from Vermont, but they couldn't get by him. And I thought Reese really gave us a lot off the bench, didn't you? Yeah, he has a plus 15 and only 18 minutes on the court. So that, that's big. He's really coming along, and I think once he, he may be able to play with Q. They, may, they, they got a lot of depth. But defensively, the last 10 minutes of that game, Vermont couldn't get anything off, and that's why they won. It's a good, good take. What are you doing with yourself these days? I'm with Under Armour and uh, do a few things for the Wizards of NBC Washington, some stuff for American U TV, that's ESPN3. But really, Under Armour's our main focus. I'm down here representing the brand. We're so proud of the Terrapins. And, well, and, you and said and Wizards. I got to ask. That's the best start in, in forever. <laughs> the Wizards have been. I do some, some pre and post game with the Wizards, Tony Massenburg, Chris Miller. You know, Dinwiddie, Beal's an all-star, and they have Bertans. Dinwiddie, Montrez Harrell, Contavious Carwell Pope, they just came here and had a winning attitude. But Kyle Kuzma at the four, that just goes to show you Kyle Kuzma was a three, he turned into a four man. And Gary Williams always said this, don't worry about positions. Kuzma, Pope, Montrez Harrell, and Dinwiddie are all healthy, and they can all play, and they all have experience. They're really fitting with good. If I was you, I'd go down and see him. I know, I know Marilyn was down there because Herder came in town. Yeah. Go, the Wizards are really fighting tough, but I love this Terrapin team. And so do I. Jimmy, thanks a for A lot of balance. I'll be back. We love your shows. You guys always do a great job. Thank go you. Terps. Thanks. That is former Maryland assistant and former Loyola head coach Jimmy Patsos. I'm Wayne Viner. Bruce is away from the microphone, and we get a whole load of Mason over Christmas break as he's coming in from Jacksonville to add some flavor to this these postgame broadcasts. That'll do it. We're going to be back with you probably after football. Michigan State, Maryland travels to Michigan State this afternoon. Game starts about right now. We'll go in and catch the press conference. Good afternoon from College Park, Maryland, 68, the Catamounts, 57. <laughs>